Hello everyone and welcome to one new episode of Golan Cafe and today we are going to talk about the IO Seeker interface. The IO Seeker interface is fairly similar and relevant to what we have seen already with the IO Reader and IO Writer interface and it's pretty common whenever you work with data and generally as well with files, network connections or anything that allows us to move across a stream of data given a specific offset. So the definition of uh, IO Seeker is uh, what you can actually check from the GoDoc as, as usual. You can do GoDoc IO Seeker and then you will see a, an interface with a single method. And the method has a offset which is an int64, int so it's an integer value. And then it has another integer value uh, which is uh, just uh, uh, representing uh, uh, the location respect to which uh, you are uh, defining the offset. So the once uh, it will be either uh, of three options, it will be start of the file, corner location of the pointer, or end of the file. And then it returns uh, the number of uh, the, the current location from the start of the file, which is an integer 64 in, in 64, and an error uh, if there was any error. So with that allows us uh, the secret interface uh, and the seek method specifically, what it allows us to do is allows us to move uh, across a stream of data, so you have to think of that, for example, uh, across a file in a specific location by using the offset. So let's say that I want to move at location uh, at uh, location 10, so let's say that the, byte, the, the file is a set of bytes um, and you want to move at the 10th uh, byte uh, in the file, starting to count from the beginning of the file. And that's when you're going to use the seek method. You're going to use the seek method, you're going to pass 10, which means uh, move uh, uh, 10, by, 10, 10 locations, 10 bytes uh, from the start of the file. So you need to pass uh, io.seekstart, which is, means start of the file. Or if you want to move, for example, uh, at the last 10 bytes of the file, you can do the same. You just need to pass uh, minus 10, and then you need to pass the uh, seek end, which is a representation for uh, the end of the file. So in terms of uh, other uh, quirks and other things to know, um, what it says here is that uh, uh, seeking to an offset before uh, uh, the start of the file is an error. So if we attempt to do minus 10 and then we say from the start of the file, go back 10 bytes, uh, it will return an error. Seeking to any positive offset is legal, but the behavior of subsequent IO operations on the online object is implementation dependent. So if we say move to a location 1000 but the file only has 10, uh, 10 bytes, then uh, we're gonna see the error uh, only when we read from the file or we write uh, to the file. In terms of other quirks uh, and other things to know, I think the second parameter of the seek method is uh, seek start, seek uh, current or seek end, which represent uh, respectively um, the location relative to which uh, you want to move the pointer uh, to. So it's uh, either the start of the file, either the current location of the file, which is given by the way from the pointer uh, whenever you read from the file. So for example, uh, if you open a file and you, and you still haven't read from the file, the current location is equal to start because you still haven't read anything from the file. If you read a line or if you read, for example, uh, 10 bytes, then the current pointer uh, is going to be equal to 10. And that's when you want to use seek current, when you want to uh, effectively count from the current location. Seek end is just the end of the file. So the usefulness of the seeker, uh, uh, seeker interface is specifically when you know the structure of the file, when you're in advance uh, uh, the, the layout of the file that you want to modify or you want to read. And uh, in that specific case, uh, when, for example, you want to read the data on a specific location. So uh, in today's example, we have a text file. So I'm just gonna open this up. It's text.txt. It's just a string and uh, we want to read, for example, a specific word. So we're going to uh, want to read a specific word uh, from, from this file. So for example, the word fox, which is uh, three, four, five, six, seven, so let's see, count all the, all the lines. It's 3, 4, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's from 16 plus 3, which is the uh, location of uh, the, fo the fox word here. 
so we can uh, start to do 17 uh, secret position 17 and then see if that uh, that plays out correctly just trying to read a specific word on the file so in terms of uh, uh, reading that in terms of reading that we can just uh, effectively open the file as usual because the uh, because the os.file implements the seek method implements the secret interface so we can easily do that um, but there may be other uh, IO written IO writers that also implement the seek, uh, the secret interface and so you can use the same logic so in our case it's going to be a simple file so the thing that we are going to do is uh, os.open text.txt and then we are going to check if there is any errors defer the f dot close at the end remember to close the files and now we want to use the fseek uh, the secret interface it said that, that it's going to return the current location from the start of the file an error and then we need to pass the um, the location we want to go to we said 17 and then i yield seek start if there is any errors we log it and we return out of fatal and at this point we can actually just for illustration purposes see uh, current location from start uh, we can put uh, we can uh, write down the current location now we just want to read uh, three bytes so what we're going to do we're going to define a buffer of size 3 so we define a byte of size 3 and then we are going to effectively uh, read the data using the read method so after read Remember that the after read reads the data into the buffer up until the size of the buffer. So now we can just see if uh, there is any errors with EOF. Uh, we say um, uh, file is uh, uh, reached end of file yeah, EOF. I'll see if uh, errors is, is not uh, it's not EOF and is not nil. It means there is something going on with the with the read method or with the file and now we can just uh, effectively print print ln and we can print uh, the string representation of the byte on the buffer uh, from 0 up until the length of the buffer which in this case should be 3 so now we can just go imports and we can just try this out uh, we had to start from 16 specifically But it already looks promising so far. So we see that uh, we read the specific word just by using just by reading three bytes from the file. So this is the effective. This is the interesting thing is because we are not loading uh, the data into memory. We are already we are just loading three bytes into memory. We are not loading the whole file into memory, and that's a very interesting thing about the uh, IO seeker because it allows you to read the specific location of the file without having to load lead, uh, load of the data in memory. Uh, obviously this can be done as well with the, uh, uh, for example, we can leave this here, but uh, we can say that uh, we can do that, uh, we, can, we can do that as well uh, uh, from a different uh, location, so not from the start but from the end. So for example, uh, we can say that uh, the current location, again, this has already been declared, so we can do seek, file.seek, and we can do that, I want to read the last uh, four words, uh, four bytes uh, starting from the seek end, from the end of the file. So we can now check if there is any errors. And then if there are not any errors, we can just say at this point we are at current log from start. And remember that what, it, what is being returned by, from the uh, file.seek, from the seek method in general, is uh, the current location always from the start of the file regardless of whether you use the seek end or seek current or seek start so that's always good to remember and now once we are once we are here we can uh, uh, we can clearly read for uh, we can try to read for uh, bytes from the from the file so now we just override the existing byte buffer we define it with a four and then we attempt to read again after read into the buffer if read equals to ioof print ln reached uf 
else if the error is not nil, means that there are some other issue. And we want to log the error. And then now we say we just want to print what we got. And that should be buffer up until uh, the length of the, um, the number of red bytes, which, uh, in, uh, which should be 4 in this case, because it's uh, the number of uh, bytes read. So if, uh, for example, uh, uh, we would read the data from, uh, uh, from the file and there would be less than 4 bytes left in the file, then uh, the, the n would be the amounts of bytes read. But we know already that we are uh, four bytes from the end of the file, so we specify a buffer length of four. We read the last four bytes and we print this out. So we read the last word. And I specified four because we know that there is uh, a uh, three letter word which is three bytes and then there is an extra byte for the new line. So that's counted as a byte, um, but that's pretty much reflecting what is the, uh, the structure of our file. Uh, one of the uh, last but not least, one of the other usages is uh, um, rewinding the pointer to the start of the file to read the file twice. So read the file twice, for example, or more, another use case. Uh, let's just gonna annotate uh, quickly this one, uh, read from allocation, uh, read with an offset from the end of the file. And uh, the same thing happens here where we uh, uh, read with an offset uh, from the start of the file. So that's pretty much what uh, we, have, uh, we have done so far. So now we, the, the current pointer is at the end of the file. We need to rewind again the pointer to, to the start. Uh, and we can do that by doing the same thing that we have done so far. So we do current equals to uh, error in the file.seek. Now we, put, we go back to zero, we go back to the start of the file, seek start, and uh, we do the same thing, we check the errors. Log the fatal, and then now uh, we can do as well, print ln, current log from start, it's going to be zero, hopefully. And then now what we are going to do, we are going to just have a sim, uh, the same buffer, this time maybe, uh, we can buffer with a uh, bigger uh, with a bigger buffer, and then we are going to read the file. So n error after read buffer iouf, and then we break. And if error is not nil, then what happens is that we are going to uh, log the fatal. And then we are going to uh, find println the buffer up until the, end of the number of uh, red bytes. And so you see the data that's coming through. Actually, we need to, um, we can keep it like this, uh, but just for uh, illustration purposes, so we can, uh, we can print the string value of that. So this is the byte representation of the data. So again, we read from the location 16, just three bytes. We read from location uh, uh, four, uh, just uh, from location four, uh, sorry, from location 40, uh, just four bytes. And then from location zero, all the data, all the data through. And that's the usage of uh, pretty much it of the, uh, um, of the IO seeker interface. So that's uh, going to be pretty useful if you want to move around the specific data, data stream and you already know the structure of the data stream and it's pretty useful because you're not loading all the data in memory so it's pretty efficient in terms of uh, memory usage in this case specifically. Uh, that's uh, pretty much for today and thanks uh, for uh, watching. See you at the next one.